Hello and welcome back to Scatterpuck Farm. My name is Eddie and this is my blog. Uh, and today is July the 27th. We're finally getting the harvest started. It's a fairly late harvest this year. Uh, and uh, and yeah, we're getting the combine out. Uh, we are getting everything uh, started and set up. We're in the uh, John Deere 6810 here. And, uh, and we're just trying to pull... I'm just trying to get my header trailer out. Should be okay. Yeah. Um, because we have two fields that uh, are very ripe and ready for us to harvest today. Uh, it's our two fields of wheat. So uh, we're going to go round and take this round to there. We're then going to uh, bring this tractor back and, uh, and grab the combine. Uh, so that we can get started and then when we get a full tank what we'll do is uh, is we'll uh, run back here grab this tractor with the trailer and uh, and get that sorted and get that emptied uh, we uh, we have a large enough trailer and a large enough combine these days that it only requires me to work it um, it does take a little bit uh, longer because obviously we we're parking the combine at the uh, at the, well, we're parking the trailer basically down here for this first field. And, uh, and we have to come back down here uh, and uh, and uh, sort of empty into the trailer. Or we bring the tractor up to the combine. Either way, it takes us a little bit of time. I don't need this. But we've got, um, we've got a little bit of wet crop at the moment. So we're waiting for everything to sort of dry out a bit. Um, which uh, will give us a little bit of time to do that and uh, and get set up. But it should it should be a fairly good day for drying. So we're expecting the uh, we're expecting the crops to dry out fairly quickly today. And uh, and once it's done that, we'll be in a good place. So we're go we're going to get everything in position. If our crops aren't dry by the time we're looking at uh, at getting started, uh, then what we can do is. Um, uh, We'll just be in a position where we can uh, uh, we can wait a little while. Um, so uh, yeah, I need to disconnect this off the front of our combine. There we go. That's all disconnected off, and just got to reverse the combine out now. Now this is a horrible thing. Had to do this by uh, the uh, wing mirrors, which is. Fairly scary thing to do, but I can see we're we're going through the entrance quite nicely at the moment. Go watch out because we've got a gateway there. Right, again, things in the mirrors appear closer than they are. There we go. We couldn't have a bigger combine than this on this farm. Uh, we just don't have the space really to to navigate it. Uh, I think if, uh, one of the things I could possibly have done is uh, is put this barn the other way around and had the entrance there and then maybe had a had the yard around there for um, the uh, for everything else. But to be perfectly honest, we're okay. We can uh, we can navigate around. It's a quite a tight yard down here at Scatterbrook Farm, but uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's really really nice. It really it does it does kind of remind me of. Um, of the farm that we had, uh, my grandfather's farm at uh, Ballincraig. The, the tightness of everything that we have down here. So uh, I'm used to uh, manoeuvring equipment through tight spaces uh, like we have here. Right, so there we go. Let's bring this in over here. And we can hook this up. Not a huge header we've got on this. But there we go. Connected. And I want to disengage everything and connect it all up. There we are. Let's back this off. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, it's this small field here. So this won't take us very long to, to get this done. Uh, and... Uh, and then the field over the other side, as you can see, we've got barley in this field. So it's barley in here. I think it's barley in the field across. Running through fields of barley. Um, but yeah, we uh, we planted all of this quite late. Yeah, so it's two fields of barley we got. You can see it's looking a little bit damp at the moment. Let's just... Um, 
have a uh, we'll take a sample of it and uh, twenty two percent. So we're we're not too bad on the moisture level at the moment. We'll uh, we'll get back and uh, and we'll sort that and that will clear down fairly quickly. I should think by the middle of the day we'll be able to harvest it. So I'm just gonna uh, put the header down and turn the combine off and we'll go and get the tractor and trailer because it's not that far to go. There we go. And skip back across the road. Just make sure oh, we can get across before that car comes. There we go. So I put the... Um, actually, one thing I want to, to tell you guys about is... We've got more uh, straw here, really, than we can fit. I'll oh, squeeze down the side of here. There we go. Uh, more straw, uh, more hay there. We can really fit in here easily and allow us to get at uh, any straw we put in here. And I'm kind of thinking I want to use this area for um, storing uh, equipment so that we can uh, we can be a little bit uh, better with our equipment storage. So I, I think we're going to be looking after this uh, season at the bottom end of the uh, the field down there where we've got the sunflowers in. Uh, and I think we might look at possibly getting a... Um, uh, extending the yard around there. I, I've already, already said to you guys that I think uh, we've got the grass around here is a little bit out of control. Um, so I think we're going to look at maybe putting some concrete down uh, around there. Uh, sort of seems to be our main yard area, that. So uh, it makes sense to me for us to uh, put some concrete down there and, uh, and sort of make that a bit easier to handle. Right, let's get this out. And round. It's a fairly warm day today. We'll see if we can uh, we can get everything through. We're good. Right. And we're just going to park this down the bottom of the field here. We'll probably move it onto the field or uh, or something later just to just to make it easier. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can. Uh, I'll get that off in a minute. That'll be good. And, uh, and we'll turn the tractor off. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. That won't unhook yet. So we'll, uh, yeah, we've got to undo these. So uh, I'll get that unhooked and uh, and all this sorted. And uh, and yeah, then in a minute we can come back and, uh, and we'll be ready to harvest. Midday and uh, I've just got the cover done down here, which is brilliant. Uh, so cover is off the trailer. Uh, the crop is now dry enough for us to uh, harvest. And you can actually see it. It's looking a little bit drier, which is good news. Not that that is overly visible from there. So start her up. We will. There we go. We'll lift this up because we don't really want to cut grass. And in we go. And there we go. So this little combine, this should do us fine around here. Uh, it's not going to be a massive thing. Uh, I just want to double check that we have... Yeah, we are dropping straw out the back, which is good news. Uh, always worth checking that that is all working. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a struggle up the hills with this. Uh, but the, the thing that we aim to do on this farm is to... Uh, is to try and cut with the hill. We've got quite a hilly farm here, and it's rather part of the reason why uh, the old Fiat we had on this farm um, was was quite good for here. It's because of, uh, of the leveling out it had with the fields. Uh, then we always had to empty with the tractor downhill, uh, because otherwise uh, we ended up with a, a bit of an oddity. Um, but uh, yeah, we were we were pretty good. We shouldn't have so much of that issue here. Uh, we're looking at uh, because this isn't the self-leveling combine. Um, it, it will still it will still work as nicely around here, and it's uh, it's a pity we couldn't continue with the Fiat in here. But uh, it will uh, it will do things grand, and it should be it should mean it'd be easier for us to empty. But I'm not too worried. Uh, as I said, we're going to be uh, travelling back and forth uh, to get the combine to empty, so that's pretty good. Uh, looks like we've got pretty decent yield on this field. We are at, 
we've got nearly 2,000 litres of, uh, of barley off this first headland. Uh, looks like we're going to have 1,700, yeah, litres off the first headland. Not bad for a really small field, that one. And, uh, and yeah, this field shouldn't take me too long to knock out. And once we've done that, we'll be all good. Uh, round bales on here, of course, is always an interesting uh, prospect with this kind of field. Um, it's uh, around here. It is so steep in places uh, that round bales seem to be a little bit of a, a bad idea. But if you unload them correctly, if you uh, if you manage to handle their unloading the right way, uh, then you'll do absolutely fine. Uh, there won't be any issues with them at all. Right, come out here. Try not to pick up any more with our head. And there we go. So yeah, we'll have this. Uh, we'll have this field punched out today, which is good. Um, we will probably move on to the next one tomorrow because we have had quite a late start here, to be honest. Uh, midday before we were able to uh, to really crack in to the into the crop and get it going uh, but it's a good start to the harvest uh, i'm very pleased with that uh, and we might even uh, get into the headlands well i should think we'll get the headlands off tomorrow morning on the other field uh, with this as i said not a massive uh not a massive massive harvester um but it does the job really quite nicely there we are. Uh, so we'll take four headlands off this field. Uh, we need that for the turning space. We're quite close up to the headlands uh, on the far side. As a result, it is ooh, quite a big job to get that done. Or to get the turning uh, space uh, uh, working well. Um, it's quite useful for us in general because we are... Uh, uh, this side of the field isn't too bad, so this is why we start in this bottom corner. Apart from it being the closest point to the farm, we've got quite a, a lot of space to turn around and do these first ones. We're 80% full now. Uh, so yeah, we've got quite a lot of space to turn around and do these uh, that first headland. Uh, and just makes things easier as we get more and more into it. We go. And we'll be careful with uh, where we're dropping the straw because we want to make it easy for us to bail later. And we've got uh, about a week or so of, uh, of good uh, harvesting weather. Uh, we have... Um, uh, so I should think we'll get this barley out. Uh, we'll get uh, the next field over of barley out. The canola over here, I think that's going to ripen in the next couple of days enough for us to get that harvested so that's good news as well uh just generally uh yeah we're looking at having a good bit of harvest season and getting all this up as always the stuff that's kind of a little bit hit and miss uh, is the corn it's one of those things um in this part of the world a late corn harvest is always threatened by the rain and uh and yeah i know lots and lots of harvest uh lots and lots of farmers who uh who have an issue with that and who uh, who come uh, a cropper on that. So, there we go. We are uh, full. Let's go and grab our tractor. Oh. Our neighbour is heading back the other way. It's like he's got a muck spreader on the back again. Right, start her up. We'll go and empty. So this trailer holds 20,000. Uh, it's uh, Our tank on this combine is not very big. So we should be able to take everything off this field. With this trailer. It's not a, not a huge trailer. So I mean, it's not a huge, uh, it's, it's not a huge tank on the combine. Uh, four thousand, sorry, four thousand two hundred liters. 
Uh, we'll keep going like that a bit and then we'll bring that in at the end so that we disengage it. Uh, one more headland then. So that's, uh, that's not too bad. I think we might get two tanks off this. If we're lucky. Yeah, I think we'll be lucky for that. We're going to take most of this field off actually in headland, to be honest. Which is not too awful. I might get the wind rower on the uh, on the field as well, just to uh, just to bunch up these lines a bit. Uh, it just saves that little bit more time uh, when we're coming to do the uh, to do the actual bailing up. You can see there's not a lot of this field left once we're taking out the four headlands. Not much for us to cut into, but not a huge field, this one. So, uh, yeah, not bad at all. There we go. Right. And that is our headlands done. Now, our tractor was a little bit in the way at the moment, so I'm going to move that out the way when we reach the end of the headland here. We want to move that towards the next field anyway. So, uh, this way. And getting this field out today uh, is a good start to the harvest. I've got a few other bits and pieces to do. I need to go and uh, and need to go and uh, sort of clean out the pigs and do things like that today. Uh, we're not, as I said, we've got a good few days forecast on the harvest, uh, so I'm not too worried about us uh, coming back and doing uh, the next field uh, probably uh, tomorrow or uh, or the next day. Uh, which would be good. We can uh, get the headlands knocked out. And that will work out well for us. So through the middle of the crop. Just to make it an easier time to turn. And us doing less distance. There we are. Going very smoothly and very nicely. And uh, yeah, a decent little crop off our field here, by the looks of things. Keep us going very, very nicely. Oh, didn't quite get my positioning right in the middle of the field. That's okay. Now this bit here is a little bit more interesting because we need to come in on the pointed bit at the end. That way we can grab as much as possible on this in one go. If we'd been a little bit higher, we'd have still had a little bit left at the bottom of the field here. So, not the end of the world. Yeah, and just these two bits here. Like so. And like so. So I'm going to save myself the fuel. I'm not going to take uh, the tractor back to the farm today. We've not got, we know what I need for this tractor and trailer um, on the farm at the moment. So we'll, uh, we'll turn off the thresher. We'll put out our auger. That's another 1,400, so not a bad little amount off that field. Uh, not a huge amount. We don't tend to deal in massive amounts of, uh, of crop on here. Um, most of it... Oh, ah, most of it... Let's get that far enough over so we're actually getting that into the trailer. There we go. Um, and round. Uh, most of it is uh, goes to pig food, to be honest. Um, we make very little off uh, stuff outside of that. And so we'll just park our combine up here, ready for the next one. And turn it off. Because we do need to go and sort our pigs out. 
Right, so uh, that's all good. Uh, let's head back to the farm quickly. Uh, we need to go and get the bucket on the tractor, sort our pigs out, and uh, and then I can come back to the harvest. Probably, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I forgot to do this earlier. Should have done this earlier while we were waiting for the uh, crops to dry out. But uh, as I said, I'm not in a massive rush at the moment. Our crops are good. We've, uh, we can't attack um, the sunflowers or the... Um, uh, can't attack the sunflowers or the canola or the corn until it all ripens. Where do I leave it? I left that tractor over this way. And uh, and yes, yeah, so we've we've got that um, to go. So we'll pop into this, turn it on. And our bucket, I think, is round here. Yeah, and there's a lot of mess here, actually. A lot of food of the pigs needs clearing up. So we'll grab that. Do this. And it will be good. Quite a lot of mess here, actually. 500 odd litres of... Uh, of pig food that they've been messy with. Uh, not a lot of actual uh, feeding going on though. So uh, that's good. Um, I'm going to leave it here for this vlog today. We might go and I think I might pop up to the field and knock the headlands out uh, on the next one. Uh, just so that we're ready. But for now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.